Hello, Mr. Ed here. Today is November 6th, 2018, and I'm right behind the uh, Honey Hut here at St. Joseph Abbey. And uh, today I, I got kind of like a, the conclusion to, uh, to make a uh, kind of like a sad story happen. Because folks, you may not know what I'm talking about, but look what Mr. Ed has got right here. That's right, we have got us a queen to go into our um, hive that we vacuumed on Friday that I did not have a queen for. So thank you, Jesus. Check this out. Well, there she is. My buddy Richie called me up yesterday and he said, Mr. Ed, I got a story for you. And uh, it involves a queen. So let me tell you about that story. So Richie was, uh, he happened to be off uh, yesterday and uh, he got a phone call from one of the customers that he, ta he takes care of their bees um, in, in a hardware store. They've got an observation hive in a hardware store and Richie takes care of these. And, and you all have met Richie before. His daughter, Amanda, was the one that um, started out uh, with the um, 4-H club with bee project and now the whole family is is uh, doing bees um, and so Richie called me up and he said man man Mr. Ed I got a great story for you uh, I got a phone call went over to check out the observation hive because the people said that they didn't see any bees in it and uh, so he went over there and uh, as he went over there he looked into the hive and sure enough there there weren't any bees in it now this observation hive is on the inside of the of the store and uh, the, the tube for their access in and out uh, for the hive um, is located, it's probably got about a six inch tube, and then it goes through the wall and then out to the uh, outside where the bees come and go. And as Richie's looking inside of there, <laughs> he sees this queen walking through the tube. And he goes, well, look at this, your queen. He got all excited. He said, yeah, I got excited like you did when I saw the queen. I said, I can't believe it, there's a queen, I can't believe it. So he went out there and went on the other side of the building and as soon as she came out, boom, he caught her. So then he, he, uh, he said, well, where's all the bees? And he opened up the box and there weren't any bees in there. There might, might have been just a handful of bees. So apparently the bees had absconded. And uh, I, don't, I, don't, you know, I don't know the, all the details of all that, but bees weren't in there. And the queen was the last, kind of like the last uh, soldier in, in the fort. And, uh, he caught her, and there was a lot of honey in the in the box. And so he said, well, let me go get my, my equipment, and we're going to go ahead and process this honey for you. So he's only 10 minutes from the store. He went home. By the time he got back, the robin had begun. And he said it was just like, it looked like WWF. I mean, there was wrestling going on, and oh, it was, he said it was just terrible. So he wound up... Uh, getting a couple of the frames of honey, processing it out. But in the end, he got the queen. And uh, he called me up and he related the story to me. And I told him, well, Richie, I really need a queen. And he said, well, Mr. Ed, come on and get her. So we have our queen uh, um, for our queenless hive. So uh, I didn't need to get it from the roost. I got it from Richie instead. So this morning, I'm, I'm here. And, and I'm going to go ahead and I built a little, a little shim plate to um, set on top of our nuke. And my plan is I'm going to take the queen and set her on top of the frames and, uh, and then just place this uh, spacer above it and put the top on and then let the bees kind of like uh, acclimate or let her acclimate to the bees and then release her. So by the grace of God, those bees that we vacuumed up on Friday, they're going to be accepting this queen and uh, they'll go on to uh, survive the winter hopefully and, and come out in, in the springtime and start thriving for us here. So let's go wrangle and turn a little queen loose, huh? All right, so before I turn our queen loose, I really do want to check to make sure that we don't have another queen in here. And I'm pretty sure that we don't. But at the same time, I don't want to put a queen in here and there's already one in here. So let's just take a really quick peek and see if we do find a queen. Because I should find her. By now, it's been four days, so she ought to be on that comb by now. I 
they've already started putting uh, nectar or honey in, in this frame already because there was nothing in this frame when I put it in and they've already got stores in it. And look, they've, they've built this little section of comb right here. Wow, it is just loaded with nectar. see any sign of the queen so we are going to assume we don't have one and we'll be able to tell almost immediately um, when I set that queen in here um, whether they're gonna accept her or they need a queen so my plan is just to take our queen here she is right here take our queen and to set her on top right in here and we're gonna observe, you know, right now, you know, what, what our bees are, are going to do. Because if they're going to accept it, they're gonna, uh, they're gonna start feeding her is what they're gonna, first thing they're gonna do. But what I wanna do is I wanna look just for right now and I see, you can see them, the bees are coming up and uh, checking her out. And now look, she's starting to get a little bit all excited. Let me uh, grab the camera and we'll focus in on this thing. All right. So now you can see the bees are coming up around her right now and there's already a noticeable different pitch in the hive because uh, when I first opened it up they were there was the, the pitch you know a sound but now there's there's a, a very much increased um, like sound which is like the message is spreading around hey hey we might have somebody here we might have a queen here so they're they're looking and they're smelling and she's walking around I haven't seen one of them get inside the cage with her yet nope there's one inside of there there is one inside of there and you can see the bees are coming I know y'all can't see it but they're they're feeding her right on this side of it I can see their tongues out feeding her Let me grab the camera and show you that. If you can see right here, our queen is being fed right now. She's being fed right now.
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, put that shim on here and close this thing up and let these girls um, get to know each other. And then I'll turn it loose in about 20 minutes. All right, it's been about an hour since uh, I set this thing up. I've been busy at the shop. Let's go ahead and look and see what our bees look like. All right, very good. Boy, they, I mean, they're so calm now compared to when I first opened this box. There's no sound, listen. That's, that's great. So, so you can tell there's, there's kind of like a tranquility, calmness about the bees right now. So I, I believe we're all good to turn our queen loose. I mean, she is right, I don't know if the camera's good, but she is right here in this corner. Right here where all the bees are clustered right here. And they're just giving a little encouragement and support and feeding her, it looks like. All right, so let's go ahead and turn her loose right here on this frame right here. And let's see if we can see her walk in. And there she is, right here. Here she is. You see the bees crowding around her. Look at that. They said, oh boy, we got us a mama. We got us a mama. She definitely looks a bit shaken. I mean, usually when I turn them loose, they can just scamper off, but... They're just kind of like hanging out right there, catching her breath maybe, who knows? I mean, the encouraging thing is, is that they're not mauling her, they're, they're, they're trying to pamper. I see, I see them cleaning her off, cleaning um, her body off, her abdomen. Oh, there's some action. There's some action. They've got it covered up right now for sure. I was kind of hoping she'd just scurry off. But that's not the case. The bees are just cleaning her up right now. That's what they're doing. She's making her move to go down now. I see her little antenna. And here she is, right here. That's her, right here. She's got her head down, pointing down to the box. I know y'all may not be able to see it. They got her covered up pretty good. There you go, you probably can see her on that. I would imagine it's been a pretty gruesome trial for this queen, as well as the bees. Look, they just opened up and y'all can see it really well right here. See if I can get a better vantage point for y'all. Here she is. She's she's going down now. She's she's got her body, <laughs> her head inside. That's her right here. You can see her abdomen on the outside of the frame. You can see her abdomen right here.
Oh, she's disappearing now. Oh. And she's gone. She's going in there now. That's great. Now I can still see it right here. She's still right there. Now she's gone. Now she's gone. Well, that is a good story for these guys right here. We got our queen in there. Hopefully she's going to be uh, recover from the stress that she's done. I'm going to check with these bees, you know, check on to her, give her a week or so and look and see how she's doing in. Uh, but I think all in all, man, it was, it was a great, it was a great trip. We got, so we wound up getting two, uh, two highs from uh, that uh, disaster of those tornadoes. Um, in Covington. So that's all I got for you in this one. So thanks for watching. Keep on watching. I'll be making more. God bless. Mr. Ed, I'm out of here until the next video. <laughs> I almost forgot. I want to I want to show you all the uh, the log tree set up and the bees are flying. I mean these guys are really doing fantastic. Um, there's, they've, they've cleaned out, there's a bunch of debris on the bottom right here, so they've cleaned up um, the mess that's been in there. And uh, these girls are looking great. So I'm really tickled. Thinking. That's two really nice eyes we got out of those trees that were down in Covington. So, man, that is just great. <laughs>